Around this time last year, we ranked the top 10 most streamed albums of 2020 on Spotify. Concerts were extinctionally threatened, and what a difference a year can make during this pandemic. The music of 2021 has soundtracked our belief in fighting the pandemic and has channeled the comeback of many artists to voice their opinions. Noticeably, the offseason by J. Cole, the trilogy by Migos, Culture 3, and Call Me If You Get Lost by Tell the Creator are one of the albums that had fans excited for new music. We are halfway through 2021 and there is plenty more music to come from various artists. In relevance to J. Cole's album, he explained the off-season's context saying, as I quote, The off-season symbolizes the work that it takes to get to the highest height. The off-season represents the many hours and months and years it took to get to top form, close quotes. The album is more of a mindset for the 36-year-old North Carolina rapper Cole, who is staying ready and preparing his skills at an age when most rappers would be battling for relevance. There's a bit of boasting with lyrics, as I quote again, Cole been going plat since back when CDs was around. What you sold, I tippled that, I can't believe these f***ing clowns, close quote, but also a playful name dropping. This is the tip of the iceberg on the first track, 95 South. The fire under Cole is lit throughout the record as he signaled the beginning of the end. It was hard for anyone else to get a word in edgewise in the upper ranks of albums charts against the offseason in numbers, but Oliver Rodrigo did. Her debut album, Sour, or shall I say S-O-U-R, is the perfect debut album. The pop musician's album differs in genres and themes. Many emerging pop stars, like Doja Cat, first made it as a meme. Eventually, she has proven herself as a natural pop star. Her 2021 album, as I'm referring to Doja Cat, Planet Her, which doubles down on the success of tracks like Say So, Zeroing In on Breezy, R&B and Trap Pop instrumentals. Like Miley Cyrus, Selena Gomez, and Demi Lovato, Oliver Rodrigo didn't stay strictly on screen for a long period. Her music resonates with all the generations, much because it strikes a nostalgic feeling and openly shares who inspires her. In fact, 30 July has arrived, so this is the day where we actually argue about two of the brightest young stars in the music industry. Not only that, the hip-hop industry seems to be stacked. Tyler the Creator is in his prime and at this moment, he is willing to go head-to-head -head with the biggest record producers. Again, Kanye West's 10th album, reportedly named Donda, has supposed to arrive for a while now. The album was originally announced to be dropping on the 23rd of July in a press release by Def Jam Records. But as some feared, Friday came and went with no release from Kanye West. Many speculate that Donda is still being worked on by Kanye West after he debuted most of the album during a playback event in Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz Stadium. This may have happened with Kanye West before, and what we can actually conclude from this situation is that we wait from the reported date of August the 6th of the new release date for Donda. So we wait for the new album and see if he will release the album or not, but we hope that it is a classic from the legend. Now anyways, we have decided which albums have everyone dancing to their tunes from Oliver Rodrigo's breakout to Tyler Creator's return and J. Cole's Magic Johnson turn. These are the best albums of 2021 so far. We hope you agree with our judgment and please like the video and leave a comment on which albums do you think dominated the first half of 2021. Hope to see you guys soon on the next video. Bye.